Fighty fight. Curse this bloody leg, Jenkins. Hey, it's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You got the best your of Griff like last this. time. When he comes looking for revenge, do you think you can beat him? He'll be angry, looking for revenge. It sounds like you prefer if Roderick staying down in the mud. Is all this talking supposed to help? You can't just fight through the pain. You need to try something to different. You. you can't handle a sword like you used to. <laughs> so find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come on. I didn't know that technique. Come at me. Ha ha. Ah. Ah. Here I come. Uh, Bring your opponent geez. down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait okay. for me to attack. Roderick! Let's try it again. Almost. Again. Ha! Now that's how you do it. <laughs> I think you let me. Oh. <sighs> My lord, sorry to interrupt. Elena. She insisted on seeing you immediately. Lady Elena, I hear we're to become sisters. Duh. Talia. What's the problem now? Roderick. My father for Can I speak with you? Uh, uh, who's this? Yeah. Who's uh, Smirky McSmirkerson's? Uh, her new boyfriend. You remember my little brother? <laughs> Quiver! Good gods, you've grown. Quiver is his name. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. Okay, Mr. Dreamworks. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. You're always welcome here. We are to be married. You'll be calling I and Rath home soon. Yes, well, um... That was a good move. That's why I came, actually. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. Yeah. He told my father you were disobeying Griff's authority and... And he wanted to teach you a lesson. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I end Albatrothal and marry his son, Griff, instead. What? Lud threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, we'd be slaughtered along with you. And? Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant, pig-eyed prick! Lena, we're in this together. I won't let this happen. I knew you'd help. But my father won't listen. I'm not going to be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not going to be some prize for him to rip open. A little harlequin romance going on. We here. have to get rid of him. Oh! I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind. It's time someone brought Griff down. Let's figure it out. We were hoping you'd say that. <laughs> What am I looking at? Secret archers. Hi. You brought your men. I command father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts <laughs> in both ranged and close combat. They're yours. If you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? What do you mean? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason uh, to keep him around. This could help both of us. Please consider it. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. I, I Get rid agree. of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. 
you can finally take control of your house again. I don't know. Please, promise the me you'll do this. tone is weird now. I, I, I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. I would be happy to. Thank you, Roderick. Yeah. Griff won't even see it coming. My men are yours to command. Thank you. Thank you, Griff. Arthur. Don't come Could you give us a moment? John. Martha. John. You don't know how much this means to me. Martha. To us, I should say. Maybe when this is all over, we could play hide and seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Is that what she's calling Forget all that's happened these last few years. I love you, Helena. I love you too. All right. We are romancing. Oh, oh. Come on. Yes. That is a hero's kiss. Romancing. Here. Let me pass that to you now. Mike is off. I can't believe it's another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. Hmm. For all I of fancy one she'll hour. marry his brother too. <laughs> not to I mention put Cersei it past and Jamie. Exposition always exposition. <laughs> Hanging out. Well, those dudes everywhere. What is Hi. it, Tom? Remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick? About White Hill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Blood White Hill. Blood White Hill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Something big. But I don't know what. Well done, Tom. Did you hear anything else? Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? We are friends. I'm sure she'd help if I asked her. She's gonna hold it over your head. It's a good plan, then. <coughs> it's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. Yeah, yeah. Why does he like me so much? It's never been explained. <clears throat> He was just sort of there, and he, she helped him, and yada yada. He's a plant. Mm. I can get you more pizza. <clears throat> hey, what are you doing out here? There's leftover honey cake in the kitchens. Have to guard this one. Locked him up in the old storeroom until morning. Why are we locked up? That the one who killed Bridge. Where is you? Oh. Still, still that. <coughs> Thought He's we were over that. Anywhere. We totally took Come care on. of that, though. Like, well, you'll be ah. back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here. Time to anyway. run away, yeah. I hate deserting the Night's Watch, but you know what we're gonna do. Gotta go. There's a mammoth in there. Gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> No one out there. Carter's gonna see you free. It's time to make an escape. I don't know what I expected. <laughs> if, if it had opened, that would have been something. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not getting out that way. Must be the latrine. 
I'm not sticking around to use it. Well, uh, hinge. <clears throat> well, this Stone. one looks loose. There we go. That's promising. Yeah. Uh oh. Garrett! I knew Cutter. it. What are you doing here? I heard him talking. Story. He had to be executed in the morning. Jesus. What about Finn? For, for that? He told Nobody them. Nobody believes it. Or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do it. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. Well, you'd be executed too. Luckily. Why would you want to help me? Stone. I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. Yeah. Well, what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. You're a good man. You know that. Don't go singing my praises just yet. I want you to take me with you to the North Grove. You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black, but I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Sure. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it will work. It's rusted a bit inside. I can try, but it may not do any good. <clears throat> There's a loose stone over here. Can you see it? Yeah. yeah. It's not moving, though. Keep trying. Let me see what I can do. Oh, wood's rotten. This is all bloody useless. Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. If I ever find a way out of here. Gross. Survive on onions. Rusty trowel. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're talking. That might be useful. Fight a white walker with it. There you go. Perfect. <coughs> I have you now. You. Garrett, what are you doing? It's Getting out of here. Suck. Way too loud. Damn. You're doing it so wrong. Got it. Good. I can see it. it. It's coming loose. I'm going to try to push it out. You pull, all right? I pressed X, the X, wrong X, button, X, sorry. X, X, <laughs> <clears throat> All right. I hope no one heard that. Hey, can you fit through? I think. You two idiots, lucky I'm not Frostfinger. <coughs> Thought you were being sly, eh? I figured you'd try something like this. Finn, you bastard. What are you doing here? I'm the sword in the darkness. I'll be a fellow brother, keep his head. You'll need this. Now, let's go. You're not coming with us, Finn. What are you on about? Frostfinger already thinks I'm helping you. What do you think he's gonna do when he hears you've run off with a potato fucker over here? 
rather take my chances with you. And I'm good in a fight. You know that. Yeah, yeah good at starting two. them anyway. More fodder. You'll need another blade exactly. to your side. Uh, Three's better than two. Admit it. Having another I, I just couldn't said hurt. that. Till he stabs you in the back. Ooh. We'll talk later. Move. There's no turning back now. We're deserters for sure. We're breaking our vows. I've taken plenty of oaths. Broken plenty too. Words don't mean shit. There'll be a price on our heads. I didn't mean for it to come to this. The vows I took here. I meant them. And someday I'll come back to one of them. Okay. They know we're gone now. Whoa. Then how fast can you run? <laughs> the weirwood saw everything. I mean, the brand saw everything. It said nothing. It said nothing. <clears throat> What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester, and things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry before things get violent. I'll make sure the Maester yeah. is safe. That's what matters. Just don't forget your promise, Roderick. Which one? The rest of my men are still yeah. in the grove. They could be here in minutes. Make sure they're ready to do some damage. Sounds like a good time. Let's go. And Arthur. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane and I want you to enter. We'll be ready. I'll just close this one body. See that. I'm coming with you. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Okay. Together then. When he died, then you play her the rest of the game. He's more savage. <clears throat> I tried to heal it, but the wound didn't. Oh, stop this at once. Why? You let that bite fester. No, I tried. A You'd have tried harder for a foster. Uh, My lord. Please! I am the only lord who matters here! Roderick! Help me. Tell your dog to obey his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore! What are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you! Me. 
I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. Let the maester go, Grim. Not until he's learned his lesson. He's no. disobedient, just like you are, Roderick. So now he's paying the price. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't believe you. <laughs> You'll pay for this in blood. <laughs> Still the old cocky Roderick, eh? Trying to show Elena that you'll never back down. You know what I think? My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. You can watch if you like. Then you'll see who's the man and who's the cripple. <coughs> I've let you off too fucking easily, Roderick. What are your orders? I'm the only one here who gives the orders! What are you waiting what, for? Your weapons? Come on, defend your lord! Kill anyone that moves! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you heard him! Stop down! You can't do this! Just did. Now then, about humility. Get your hands off me! Yes. Maester. Are you all right? Good. Yes, I think so. My father will go straight to Roose Bolton. He'll flay you and your sister and your own fucking family. Leave Ironrath. Take your soldiers and get out. Then maybe I'll show you mercy. I'm not going anywhere. You gonna hurt me? Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone, I will see that you pay for this! Oh, shit. All of you! All right. Is this the man you'd rather have? This cripple. Roderick! Enough! That's enough! Are you satisfied? <sighs> Is that it then? <laughs> Fuck you, Roderick. <laughs> Everyone will Can remember find the white that. Tools, <laughs> no one gets in or out. <clears throat> This isn't over, Roderick! Probably could have killed him there if we kept going. Mm -hmm. yeah. But she was starting to get scared. Word yeah. cannot we hold out in front of her. <laughs> you must be sure of it. <clears throat> Not as long as they still hold Ryan. Right. I guess we do have to kill the try. ravens. <clears throat> I think there is kill all of them. Right? Yeah, Ryan's lost. We have to try at least. But we're not gonna. It, it, he's cannon fodder. Yeah, he's Roger. We're not gonna be able to save Ryan. No. Meanwhile, I swear I will. Fuck you and your. Queen. That's enough. So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders. And getting pissed drunk before a mission. Obey? You know what kind of shit brain fool does that? Guys. One who wants to fucking die out there. Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage. What in the seven bloody hells are you I will not let about? you bark orders at me. I'm glad to see you two are getting along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher. You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck what do you What are you going to do? Guys. Why are they swinging a fucking... Ah! Uh, Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. Hey, come on, Beska. Leave the poor Let man. Let go of me before I break your fingers. Right. Deal with your friend. They're asking you to, and you won't. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck. Mind your own business, Croft. You don't need to worry about us. Just take care of this, because if she can't hold it together. God damn it. We're leaving without the both of you. 
Ha! <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <laughs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Mister, anyway! what the hell is going on? You gonna lecture me too? <laughs> no! Croft doesn't know shit about anything! Will you stop trying to hit me? <laughs> Squeak. Whatever your problem is with Croft, just let it go! You think this is about Croft? You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? Uh. 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 Your fucking uncle is the only reason I'm even here. He told your little dragon queen I would go into Marine with you. You brought me here. I'm doing this for my family, Biscuit. This is oh, the only it's way. Always about you, your family, your and problems. You're... Come on, Asher. Hit me. Uh, Australian oh, argument. If this was a real fight, you'd be dead. I'm not going to do that. Uh. Come on. So what? You're gonna kill me because you don't want to go into some fucking city. I was a slave. Oh. Here in this fucking city. <sighs> Could have brought it up earlier. Mm -hmm. I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pit to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. Lunch. What kind of a monster would do that to a child? To him, we were not children. We were his playthings. His... entertainment. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it. Smiling. I could have killed him for that fucking smile. Um. I'm, I'm so sorry, Beska. I don't want your pity. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezorzoraza. <clears throat> because of that man. Marine is a Come city on. of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. Come on. You've had enough. Let me say that. Nice. That's being a good friend. Damn. Those are Flip Rodriguez moments. This is my motivation. You're gonna die. Oh, here we go. <laughs> you shouldn't say that. <laughs> Why not? Mira, uh, I'll meet you inside. Uh, so. What are you doing here? I have to get in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? <sighs> I need to speak with Lords Morgren and Andros. One of them might be working against my family. Doing what? 
If I knew that, I wouldn't be here. Lady Marjorie would be furious, oh, Mira. Choice. I can't. I'm sorry. I want to help you. Please, Sarah. I don't know. For me.